Okay, hi, here's our video to tutorial about putting an image in your article in WordPress. Okay, so I've got this fake um, temporary article here, but I'm using your um, template. Okay, so say you want a picture of Leo, okay, from day. So you go over, use your search engine, you type in Leo, so I'm trying to type one-handed. There you go, Leo, Days of Our Lives. Or you use the link I gave you, either way. And you click on images. And you find, you don't want one of these kind because that's, okay, this is okay, but you don't want one of them where it's obviously he's posing as the actor. Just, you just pick a picture you like. You say, okay, and then you right, right click. I'm using a laptop, so my right click is there, but you use your own right click and you choose uh, save image as. Okay, save it wherever you want to save it. Mine gets saved in pictures automatically. Okay, so we see this is the kind that we don't want, which is the WEBP, okay? We can all use JPEGs pretty much. GIFs are okay. Um, we don't want that kind. So let's see what this one is. Okay, right click, save image as. Okay, this one's a JPEG. It's got a long name. We don't need all that. Let's just put Leo. Right? Leo, and it's going to save it as a JPEG, or we can type in JPEG. It doesn't matter. Either way. Okay, and then we save it. And then let's say we have another picture we want. Um, who's a good one? Uh, Kristen. Just put in Kristen. Hit return or, or um, enter. <laughs> okay, so we don't want we don't want that Kristen. That's the old Kristen. We want one of these Kristens. Okay, so let's see what this one is. Right click, save image as, and it's the wrong kind again. So let's try this one. It looks like a good picture of her. And we see this is PNG, that one's fine too. That's the other kind that's okay. So we just want Kristen, change the name of it to Kristen, and save it. Okay, and then we go to our page, go back to our page here, edit post, and Highlight the photo, or we can delete it either way. And we go up here to, oh, that's not right, I'm sorry. <laughs> you go over to media first, and you wanna open that in a new page. So you got new tab, sorry. And you click select files, and you find the two pictures. Okay, and then you hold down the shift button if you want to select both of them at once, it doesn't really matter. But this, if you hold down the shift button, you can select two. Otherwise, you have to do it twice, which is inefficient. Click on open, and it opens. And you know it's done when it says, when it no longer has that little bar that was going across there. It's pretty quick, usually. Okay, sorry. So you go back to the page, <laughs> click on where you had photo there. I had skipped ahead before, sorry about that. Now you can click on add media. Okay, so we got our two pictures here. You don't even have to do anything. So we want to put Leo at the top because maybe you talked about Leo first in your um, article. So you just put, just type in a little description. See, there are basically three fields here. I know I only told you about one, but if you wouldn't mind, please typing it in all three. You just type in one, then you can copy and paste the other two. So you want to type in all text, title, and description. That way we know that whoever's looking at the picture, if they're blind or they have software that's reading for them, they can read what the picture's about. So I just type in, I hope you can see this, <laughs> Leo, and then you can leave it at that if you want. I'm one-handed right now holding this, so um, I'll just, but I'll just try it. Leo of um, days, yeah, shoot, I can't type this way. Anyway, 
you know, Leo, days of our lives, blah, blah, blah. You copy what you did. I'm just being shorthanded here because I don't want to take up all your time while I sit here and try to type it one-handed. Ah, Okay, so there you go. <laughs> and paste it and go to description. Make sure you don't put it in caption because that will put actual text below the picture and we don't want that. Okay, then you scroll down. See, this is the categories I was telling you about. You click on days. Now, that might be a big picture. So we want to make sure go down to where it says attachment display settings. If you leave it as none, then it's going to be the big picture. We don't want that. So try to make it medium. 300 by 169 is perfect. You don't want it any bigger than that. It still might be too big, so you have to you might have to resize it. So you go insert and post. And there it is, and it's perfect, pretty much perfect size. Sometimes you get really wide ones, they still look really big. And if you never need to resize it, this is what I was talking about also. You click on that, you see you got these little boxes, that means you can resize it. You just, when it turns into a little arrow like that, you can go like that, you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want. Smaller usually is best. All right, and the same as when you're putting the other picture down there where it says photo, all right? And then when you're done with all that, you click on publish after you've put your opinion article in, okay? So I kind of rushed through this, so let me know if you're not sure what I'm talking about or if there's anything that's unclear, or you can just rewatch it. And if you still don't get it, then please ask me. Uh, I am happy to redo this because I'm just doing this real quick right now. I am happy to help in any way possible. And thank you for doing this, and thank you for saving me the time. Bye.